of legend. After centuries of living beneath the earth, humanity has ventured out into the sunlight to explore the world above. Creatures mundane and magical dwelled in the forests and jungles. The land grew lush and green. Thriving forests sheltered plants and animals. People prospered from the land. And from the plains came forth fantastical cities. At first there was happiness and more wealth than ever. But soon darker times would follow. The children aged within the ever-rising walls until they could no longer see the fields or forests that grew beyond. The people began to forget from where they once came. Until slowly and surely the legend faded away. As well as the suicide bomber. According to witnesses, the suicide bomber was in fact a woman. The biggest one which is moving one look we're looking after this as a strategic a suicide bomber attack on terror attack was on our Passover, on our sacred night, was we call the Passover massacre. Massacre. Eons later, the people grew tired of the grey concrete masses that surrounded them. And once more they decided to go forth into the world they once knew. They traveled the land and rediscovered its lost legends by exploring its forgotten face. But the world had changed.
Outside the village, Outside the village there is a swamp. A vast area of blue-green mud fields. There are rumors that say the bayou is full of strange beings that hide in the mud pools. People call them the swamp people because they never leave the swamplands. Nobody has ever seen them. But to this day, the common people sacrifice seeds and flowers to the quagmire goddess. According to the old chronicle, they grow the best seeds and weeds in the eastern realms. And sometimes, on a still night, you can hear the swamp people gathering by the shores of the northern creek.
fresh flyer flavor. <laughs> 